Good morning, good people. This is Minister Jay, and welcome to another episode of Table Talk. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about forgiveness, according to Matthew chapter 6, 14. And the scripture says that if you forgive men their trespasses, then your Father in heaven will also forgive you. Let's talk about that, guys, because there is a problem with us when it comes to forgiving people see we want God to understand us because the excuses we say oh well God knows my heart well God knows my heart God understands me he you want God to understand you and you want God to know your heart but when you have been wronged or somebody does something wrong to you you don't feel like that we don't feel like that we don't never want people to, we don't ever understand their hearts or the, maybe the people want us to understand them, but we don't want to understand anybody. We don't want to know their hearts or intentions. All we know is that they've done something wrong to hurt us and we got to find some way to get them back. But God also said in verse 15 that if you do not forgive man your trespasses, your father in heaven will not forgive you either. Let's think about that, people. We want God to forgive us. We want God to understand us. We want God to know our heart, but we are not the same way towards people who has done us wrong. And I've been guilty of it too, guys. I have been guilty too. But I will say this. How can you expect God to bless you and do anything for you when you are holding unforgiveness in your heart? Do you realize that you hurt God every single day? Even when you're not hurting nobody. See, we hurt God when we hurt people, and we still hurt God even when we're not hurting anybody. You realize that you hurt God more than anybody, but you want God to understand you. You want God to know your heart. You want God to forgive you. God is constantly renewing his mercy for us every single day. He's constantly giving us a chance every single day. That's the difference between him and us. He gives us a chance every single day to do what? To constantly hurt him. But as soon as somebody does something to hurt us, oh, we, 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 oh man, it's the, it's, it's the end of the world. We can't forgive people, but we want God to forgive us. How does that work? The scripture says, if you do not forgive men of their transgressions or their or trespasses, then neither will your father in heaven forgive you. God is not going to forgive you if you don't forgive. It doesn't work like that, guys. It doesn't work like that. See, we have, to we have to understand something about forgiveness, man. Forgiveness is not for them. It's actually for us. When we forgive people, we actually free ourselves. Because I learned something about unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is like you drinking poison waiting on somebody else to die from it. It ain't going to change what they did or what they said or whatever. But guess what? Think about the stuff we say and do every single day that hurts God. We don't ever think about that, do we? Do we ever think about the things that we say and do that hurts God? No. But we want him to understand us. Oh, he knows our heart. We ain't perfect. We say all of this stuff. And the people that hurt us and did things to us ain't perfect either. And I'm quite sure they have good intentions too. I'm quite sure they're not operating out of a bad heart either. Good people do bad things. We all make bad choices and decisions. We all do. But when it comes to forgiveness, regardless of the magnitude or whatever it is, we must practice that, especially if we call ourselves believers in Christ. What did he say when he was on the cross? He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Jesus even forgave the people who crucified him. He forgave everybody that spit on him everybody that beat him, everybody that mocked him, everybody that did everything to him. These were also the same people who were screaming Hosanna. Same people who were screaming Hosanna was the same people screaming crucify him. And Jesus forgave them also. He said to himself, Father forgive them for they know not what they do. Christ talked a lot about forgiveness. He stressed it a lot in the Gospels about forgiving. I'm going to leave you guys with this one. We have to understand something about how true forgiveness works, man. Nobody's just going to say that the pain is going to subside or whatever we've done to hurt people is going to you know, ease. 
God forgives us and forgets about it. We're humans. God is, don't think like us and we don't think like him. We should be thinking like him, but we don't. We gotta start learning how to operate like God if we are gonna be those who call ourselves a followers in Christ. We gotta start operating like that. And if we want true freedom and true liberty in life, we must forgive and let go. Because we want God to forgive us of our trespasses and let it go, we must also practice the same thing that we want God to do to us. God also let us know this in the scripture about the parable of the, uh, the, uh, the, the servant where the man asked his master to forgive him for his debt, but then he went out and choked out his fellow servant for $50. That master told him, look here, they said, bring that wicked servant in here. Bring that wicked servant in here. And he told him, have I not forgiven your debt? Your debt to me was greater. Have I not forgiven you a debt, your debt? Should you have not done the same thing to this person that I've done to you? Now, I want him, his family, Sell everything, sell him, sell his family, everything to the debt is paid. We got to start learning true forgiveness, man. And if you don't know what true forgiveness is, get into the word of God and understand what true forgiveness is. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, man. So that we may come to him for forgiveness of sins, man. Whenever we, we wrong somebody, we need to we we need to take responsibility for what we do and go and seek forgiveness and should they forgive us great if that okay that's something they're going to have to deal with with god they're not going to live a long prosperous life being unforgiving and bitter god don't operate in that department and neither should we so i'm going to end this with saying hey let's learn to love and forgive each other especially if we call ourselves believers in christ man Christ operated in forgiveness. We need to do the same thing. This is your boy, Minister Jay, signing off, saying peace, be blessed, be safe, and thank you for watching this episode of Table Talk. You guys be blessed. Bye -bye.